I might uh, say the same thing about you. By the way, how was your lunch yesterday? My lunch? Yes, last seen yesterday, Anna Bidane was being spirited off the docks by Duke Lavery. It was, uh, it was very nice. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry that I have to leave you so abruptly. I'm sure it was worth it. <laughs> it was just a very ordinary lunch. We just had an informal lunch in mm -hmm. his office. I see. Mm. I'd like to reciprocate, actually. Would you care to join us for lunch at Kelly's? I have time before I have to go back to work. You do, huh? Mm -hmm. Actually, actually I'd, I'd love to join you for lunch, uh, Anna, but I have some things to take care of at the moment. All right, well, we'll take a rain check. Good. Okay? Right. See you later. Bye-bye. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's in these free? Uh, maybe lead. Maybe cement. Either or both. Whatever it is, it weighs a ton. Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! I don't know! I don't know! Hurry up! Hurry up! Get on to Monday! Take it easy! Take it easy! Go, go. Hurry up! Go now! Hurry up! Move him! We're getting here so fast, huh? Mm -hmm. Anna Devane had the hospital radio us in the van directly. Luckily, we were only a few blocks away. Come on, let's go. Anna, Anna, hey. somebody said there was an accident in front of Sean's warehouse. That's right, yes, I know. Was it Bob? Was he the guy that was hurt? I don't know who was hurt, really. I think I gotta find out. I've been looking for you. Are you all right? Yeah. I'm okay. The engine man, he's gone off to the hospital. Thanks to you. What? The price just done. You could have broken your back. Well, if the man lives, it's probably because you were there. You helped. No, Duke, if he lives, it's because you got the crate off him. I mean, you could have been crushed in the process. Well, you just got to take a chance, haven't you? I mean, whether the man lives is a... It remains to be seen. It's in, it's in other people's hands now, and I... I can see that you're not going to rest until you know what the outcome is, though. I feel as if I've relived the worst moment of my life today. When I saw this man lying there, crushed underneath this, just lying there. I'm never going to forget this, Henry. Maybe I never should die, I don't know. Like, my life was just, it was just slowly, slowly going out, and... It's horrible. <laughs> we just, we got away. Mm -hmm. Are you all right, Duke? Would you wait with me? Yes, of course I will, if it'll help. I would. Right. But I'm not going to be good company. It's all right, what do you want to do? I want to walk. Can we walk? Yes. Finally, has no damage to his heart. It's a miracle, really. I guess, yeah. Miracles don't often happen when you need them, do they? Yeah. No, um, that's really brought back some bad memories for you, didn't it? Yeah, they're not good. Not good, no. Do you want to talk about them? I don't think talking will do any good. You know, what's done is done, Alice. Well, I mean, it's guilty feelings about the past. I mean, good Lord, I could write a book on that. And it, it does help to talk about it. 
Me done. Today I relive all of it. The worst moments of my life. My father was a dope worker. A person in Glasgow and in Liverpool. Liverpool. That's where it happened. I was 12 years old. I was playing hooky from school. I wanted to go down there and you now see him at work. Yeah, go on. What you saw today was nothing compared to what happened to my father. Every time I got there, he was lying on the ground. He was, he was crushed like an animal. There were crates on top of him and barrels. A container had broken loose and had fallen on him. All hell had broke loose. There was a whole gang of men trying to free him from it, but it was no use. I just stood there. Ugh. I was helpless. Dear. I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. And I hated myself. Well, they got on. Ah, there was... There was nothing they could do. It was like... Was, was he dead? No. No such luck. He was crushed from the waist down. Well, the man, he never walked again. He died a little every day. His, his dignity had been taken away. He felt as if he was... He felt as if he was left with nothing. Oh, boy. A heavy load for a 12-year-old boy to carry. Well, I grew up fast. I quit school. I took a few odd jobs. Because we needed the money. And then when I was 16, I got a job on the dogs. You follow in your father's footsteps? No. I was determined not to. I swore from the very beginning I would get out of there as soon as I could. What do you understand? No, well, I, I understand why you keep finding ways to help those workers. That's conscience money, Anna. That's all that is, that is conscience money. Um, I'm really sorry now that I accused you of buying those. Would you like to come to my house to have dinner? Um, I'm sure Robin and Philomena would love to see you, and we can keep in touch with the hospital from there. What about you? You want to see me? Yes. You have a way about you, Anna. I've never even told my best friends about my father. 